It's been a big year for high school seniors as they cross the stage into an endless sea of opportunities. But is your graduate ready for the next step in their career path? Post-pandemic fears have created a rich environment for students to pursue career college options, including nursing. Our sponsors at Sumner College recently spoke with us about their nursing classes and careers in the healthcare industry. Take a look. Joanna, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Now, I, you got to tell me, what is it about this program that kind of like, sets it apart from other four-year programs. It's, I mean, it sounds really exciting and interesting. So Sumner College is a nursing school. We've been around for about 48 years now. Our registered nursing program is an associate degree program. It takes about 24 months to complete. And then graduates of that program can go on to our R to BSN. That program's 100% online and you can get your BSN in about three years. Wow, and you know, it's, I feel like, the healthcare industry is so important now, especially, I mean, we've seen it with COVID. So can you tell us kind of about the work placement or the, the opportunities that exist after you graduate from a college like Sumner? Yeah, there is a high demand for nursing jobs, as everyone knows. There's a huge shortage in the Northwest. Just today, looking over the job market, over 4,000 nursing jobs in the Portland area alone. So we do offer an LPN program as well that's 13 months. For those that want to start out and become a licensed practical nurse, that's another option for them. But huge demand, high growth potential, and just you, you can see the healthcare trends over the next 10 years, how it's such a need up here in the Northwest. Yeah. We're really happy to be part of the community to be able to give that to the community and have people placed out in jobs right after they graduate. Awesome. And you know, I have a couple uh, nurse friends, but for everyone out there who kind of doesn't know, and I'm still a little foggy on it myself, <laughs> <laughs> tell me the difference between an LPN and an RN. Yeah, that is a great question. So LPN is more of that technical side, long-term care, assisted living, diploma program. With a registered nurse, you have to have the minimum of an associate's degree. And that's more of that hospital setting, mm -hmm. post-op surgery, those types of settings. So it really depends on the scope of practice and what you want to do. You can contact one of our admissions advisors. We can sit down with you, find out where you want to work in and what area, and then we can go from there to determine which program is best for you. I think that's a highlight right there, that you guys are going to sit down and kind of walk people through it. Because sometimes we just know we want to be in that field, but we're not really sure about what road we want to take. So the fact that you guys are kind of offering that guidance, I think, stands out from other places exponentially. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a big decision going to college. It's a huge sacrifice and commitment, family, work and everything else. In addition to nursing, we also have a medical assisting program. So some that want to get in the healthcare field, but maybe do more of that front office vitals, working with patients in smaller clinics. We have the medical assisting program that's seven and a half months. So if you want to get into healthcare, there's nursing, nursing and medical assisting to choose from. Awesome. Now, can you tell everyone out there where they can go for more information? Yeah, so we're located in Portland, right off Airport Way. You can check us out at SumnerCollege.edu or you can give us a call, 503-223-5100. Perfect. You guys got to get out there to Sumner College. Sounds like a great opportunity. And you guys are really helping everyone out. Thank well, you thank so you. much for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, those programs really sound amazing. Make sure you visit our sponsor's website at sumnercollege.edu or give them a call at 503-223-5100.